Standing in a glass bowl At the end of a black hole Cold, lost and upside down Faces rolling past me All my memories rolling vastly Welcome back on my channel. Today I'm doing this look with the new Natasha Denona Lila Lila palette. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. So going right ahead with a shadow shield, this will pick up any fallout from the palette because I already applied foundation to my under eyes. So I'm starting out with the shade Per Se and I'm applying this into my crease as a transition shade. Now I'm building it up more in the inner and outer part of my eye and also that outer V. Then I'm taking the shade Nude Vino and again applying this to the outer V. I want the colors to be darkest in the outer V and lower lash line. But I'm also blending it out into the crease. Now going to the shade Amara and again applying it to the outer V um, and I'm really blending it out softly. This was the shade with the most fallout from the palette, you will see it later on. Um, but also apply it to the lower lash line and with a clean brush I'm blending it out. Then I'm going back in with the shade and re-intensifying that crease and outer V. Then I'm taking it on a pencil brush and with this pencil brush I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line and here you can really see on the shadow shield that I picked up a lot of the fallout. Now taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and the Stigma Cut Crease Brush and I'm applying it to the lid looking up and then creating that outline and filling the shape in. Let me, guy, let me know if you guys want to see a um, in-depth tutorial on how to do a cut crease, even for hooded eyes. And I'm going in with a smaller brush to clean it up very, very nice and sharp. Now I'm going in with this really small Anastasia brush. And this really helps me out with carving out that cut. So you can really see that it makes the line super sharp. And it just makes a big contrast between the cut and um, the concealer part. Taking the pencil brush and blending that out because you want it to be blended and smooth. Now I'm going into the shade Amethyst and I made my brush a little bit too wet so it doesn't apply as pigmented but it was really easy to apply it to the cut to make that really nice um, contrast. Applying it with my finger for more pigmentation. And now I'm going into the shade Magnetic. Again, I applied it a little bit too wet so it wasn't as pigmented as it should be. But it was really nice and smooth to apply to the lid and carving it out. Again, I went over with my finger. Now I'm taking the shade Livid. And this is a shade that will marry the two shades together. So as you can see on the other eye, it is a very harsh line. And on this side, it is way better. So then I'm going back in with Amethyst and blending the two, three shades together and of course also Magnetic. So I wanted to do something different for the inner corner so I picked up the shade Magnolia which is a stunning shade and I'm applying it with this really tiny brush. Going back in with a little bit of Magnetic to blend it out and then again I'm going back in with Magnolia because I just want the lid to be a nice and smooth uh, ombre. Then I'm taking the shade Lila. I felt like I needed a little bit more of a transition between the red and the purple so that is why I applied this shade. Now I'm taking the shade Geno, Genu, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm applying it to the inner corner. Taking a little bit more of that Emra shade on the lower lash line. And now I'm taking the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. I'm applying this to the waterline. This will give a very nice and fresh um, look. Now I'm taking my lashes. I forgot which lashes these are. I will put everything in the description down below, also all the brushes I used. 
and that is actually the finished look so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i definitely love this palette and i want to do more looks with this one so um if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell and i want to thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and don't forget to follow me on social media see you in the next one bye